Today, I'm going to install the aluminium frame 40Z and from 40Y axis on the CTC Prusa i3 MK2 3D printer. Coming up on Zachary's 3D prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints. This channel is about 3D printing, with tips, tricks, tutorials, how-to, review, news, everything about 3D printing. If you're new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hitting that notifications button to get updates about the latest video I'm posting on YouTube. And thanks for being on this video. So, like I mentioned in the intro, today we are going to exchange the plywood frame from the Z-axis but also from, from the Y-axis and exchange them for the aluminium version. I did a few weeks ago, I did a video about it and I will put the link in the right corner and also in the description of this video and in the end card. When we are going to do this, please keep in mind that this frame was hand cut and not use a CSC machine or ordered on AliExpress. So before we are going to start with disassembling and assembling from the parts, what do we need? Well, maybe a Allen key with wrench or you want to use those Allen keys 2.5 and also some pliers, one for tightening up the zip tie and also a cutter for cutting the zip tie. And now let's get in to the assembling. So, as you can see, it looks a little bit different here than in the time lapse. I'm going to continue with assembling of the Y and Z axis for the CTC Prusa i3 MK2 3D printer conversion. But I have to say that my Y that frame wasn't straight or not good enough. Because during the cutting, I cut away too much. And also the lineal bearings doesn't line up that well. Uh, on the eye, when you look to it, you already see that there is some angle and it is just a little bit off. And that is one of the reasons why I had to look for a other solution. It didn't roll that well. I did test it and it was very tight. It was not going smooth over the deep smooth rods. So, Instead of using a frame that wasn't that straight and not that nice to use, I was looking on Thingiverse and there I found a frame for my Y-axis that I could use. Also, the legs from the frame were not attached to it. I could print it on my Ender 3 Pro without any problems. The legs I did separately and then I attached it with some nuts and some screws and it was also running smoothly over the smooth rods. And then I took the opportunity to also install the timing belt. And this is how it looks like. See, it works perfectly. It's all printed in PLA, I know. It can melt, but then, um, well, it's, it's something I'm going to try out. 
Maybe it is going to melt, maybe not, I don't know. But for the time being, it's working perfectly. I also took the opportunity to mount the wires for my uh, heat bed and also the thermal cables. I run to the uh, zip tie and put it like this so that there is only tension on this part and not here on this part. And then I'm done with that. Maybe I'm going to also install a little cover. I don't know. But for this video, I leave it like it is like this. And I need to say it's pretty awesome. It's running smoothly and that is what I wanted. So this is the Z-axis frame. It's all mounted. It's ready to install on the Y-axis. Let's fuse them together, shall we? So, it's all steady. Perfect. So, now we cut the zip ties. And hold on. And I also installed the power supply unit on the Y-axis frame. I thought I measured it the right way, but I didn't. Well, there are some other solutions for that, but we will think about that as well. I think the printer is quite sturdy, much more sturdier than the plywood frame that I had before. This is 6 millimeter aluminum that I used for this build. So that was it for this build. I added a frame for the Z-axis made out of aluminum. I did want to make an aluminum Y bed frame, but because of some measurements and some cuttings are not that great, it was not running smoothly over my smooth rods. I did try it a few times, it didn't work out that well and it was very stiff and it was not running at all. So I had to look for a different kind of solution and it was a 3D printed frame for my Y axis. I know, maybe not the best solution, but if it works, it works, right? And there, that is where 3D printing tinkering is all about. Testing, trying, if it fails, then you know that you have to change it. I also am going to make another video installing this main board and also the the display and because the display is a little bit different than the one that I had before I need to do some modifications in the firmware but that I will leave for a other video. On Sakri 3D Prints you find everything you want to know about 3D printing every Wednesday and Friday new upload make sure to hit the subscribe button and put on the notifications. Hey if you made it this far in this video you are awesome Thank you! On the end card there are some recommended videos that are worth watching. So thanks for watching, please like this video, share this video with one of your relatives and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri 3D Prints. Bye bye.